You're watching Blythe Natural Living. I'm your host, Blythe Metz. Today we are talking about cancer and how we already know many cures for cancer. So I wanna tell you everything that I'm about to tell you is not my opinion, nor is it theory. It is fact and I encourage you to look it up on your own so that you can continue the study on your own. All right, this is a really big story. So every year in America, over 1 million new cancer diagnoses are made. Each patient will spend about $50,000 of their own money that's not even including insurance, which is like a whole nother issue, to treat their cancer. So that adds up to about 50 billion annually just in America. I'm, I'm providing a context around what I'm about to tell you. Okay, so in the 1900s, in the early 1900s, cancer was showing up in about one in every 20 people. By the time we got to 1970s, it was showing up in one in every 10 people. And presently today, cancer is afflicting one in three people. So if you got a cancer diagnosis in the 1950s, they would tell you that you had one in three chances of survival. That is still the same today. So despite, despite billions of dollars actually being raised annually for this type of cancer and that type of cancer, in almost 70 years, there has been absolutely no improvement in our cancer. And in fact, it has gotten much worse. So I, I need to tell you guys the, the big story of how this happened. Currently, the only legal ways to treat cancer are surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Two out of those three methods, radiation and chemotherapy, are actually carcinogenic. <laughs> Not, so these treatments may kill cancer cells, but they also kill healthy cells. So you take a healthy person and put them through this cancer treatment and they will get very sick. So, and, and those of you that are going through a chemotherapy, I encourage you to look at the medications that you're given when you're, when you're at the hospital giving your chemotherapy, ask to see the actual bottle and the box and write on those boxes and bottles it actually says, this is a carcinogenic, this is a carcinogen. So what is this? Why are we, what is this fog that we're under that we're being treated in ways that is actually hurting us? And it is, in fact, two thirds of people being treated with allopathic ways, meaning surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, pass away within five years from their diagnosis. That is the fact. Yet the system is keep running and people keep following it. And what we, we have to understand the context of what's happened. There's a, there's a quote that says that in, all, in allopathic medicine, the patient dies from the cure. And that's absolutely true. So back in the first half of the 19th century, the American Medical Association, the AMA, was established to bring industry to medicine. So they needed some big financial backers. So they got Carnegie, Rockefeller, and Morgan involved. These guys saw the economic foundation for a new medical economy. As businessmen, they're like, great. So they go to the medical schools and they say, we're gonna give you these huge grants, but, you know, and the schools are like, great. But, you know, because we're giving you all this money, we wanna put two or three of our own people on your board of directors so we can make sure that the money's being allocated appropriately. Okay, so they get in there and because these medical schools have the, these new funds, they can have new buildings and new machineries and, and new ideas, so they all sort of get skewed towards pharmaceutical drugs. So now we have the pharmaceutical drug interests that basically have overtaken the medical schools. So that was the first thing that they did. It's very smart. The second thing that they did was um, the AMA was given control to make any sort of other medicine or other different kinds of doctors illegal. So herbal medicine was actually made illegal. And throughout history, there are many, many, many cases of doctors that were very successfully healing people of cancer that went to jail, their clinics got closed. Ren Kaysen is one, or Ren Casey is one. Harry Hoxie is one. Harry Hoxie had um, clinics all over the United States that were all simultaneously closed because he was successfully healing people from cancer with herbal medicine. So herbal medicine will never be FDA approved ever because herbal medicine comes from plants and you cannot patent plants, natural plants in nature. So no one is going to spend the several hundred thousand dollars that it takes to do the testing for FDA approval on a plant that can't be patented. It doesn't make any money. Okay, so we have this 
context that herbal medicine has no value because it's not tested. Well, please understand where that's coming from because it's actually been working for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So then, okay, so we got the schools, we took over, you know, we, we, we now have, have made it, it a law that legally the only way that cancer can be treated is surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. Then in the 80s, the pharmaceutical industry was able to take the testing of their products out of um, educational facilities of the university's laboratories for testing and put it into private testing, which they can control. Once you have trillions of dollars, you can do anything. So that's what they did. They were also successfully able to overtake the medical publications. So now all the propaganda came about of the, you know, the herbal quacks and this and that, and, and it was written, the only way to treat cancer is surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Okay? And then the fifth arm of that is that they were able to buy the FDA. And that's a whole other story that I can't get into in this video. But I, I really want you to understand this context, this system that is happening right now. I have a really hard time believing that in the last 70 years, we can put a man on the moon, we can photograph, we have photographed literally 200 billion galaxies, okay? The astronomical professionals have photographed 200 billion galaxies, okay? My husband and I can take our phones and put them next to each other and beam video at each other and beam images. This is the world that we live in. And we don't have progress in our cancer treatment. Like, are we really buying that? So we need to understand that cancer is a very big business. And we need to understand how it happened. And we need to understand that there are alternatives and that all the alternatives have been sapped because they are a threat to this multi-trillion dollar business. So I'm making this video today because it's extremely important to me. In the last 12 months, I have known two 30-year-olds that have died from cancer. I have known a mother of four that has died from cancer. When I see the elderly spending their, their, the elderly part of their lives going in to get treatments and getting sicker and weaker, it disgusts me and it devastates me because, listen, Fear is how you control people. It's well known in psychology that if you can, if you can in, um, instill fear in someone, that you can control them. So yeah, you get a diagnosis and it's scary, but the only reason it's scary is because you think that you have to go through surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, and you think that you only have a one in third chance of surviving. That's bollocks, okay? So it doesn't have to be scary. I really want you to know if you have a diagnosis, or if your child has a diagnosis, or someone that you love, cancer is just irregular cells. It doesn't have to be scary. You can treat it with phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are in greens. They kill the cancer cell, but not the healthy cells. There is so many herbal remedies out there. Mistletoe, turmeric, vitamin B17, baking soda. There's the Rife machine. Please look up the Rife machine, R-I-F-E. Dr. Rife in the 1940s created a vibration imbuing machine that took a cell that was vibrating at cancer because everything is vibration. Everything in the universe is vibration. A cancer cell is simply vibrating at a certain rate. They take, they imbue a frequency into that cell and turn the cell into a healthy frequency, okay? That was he uh, healing people 99.9% .9 of the time because consciousness is always a factor. So those people that wanted to be healed got healed and that doctor went to jail and the Rife machine was made illegal and nobody ever hears of it. So we have to understand these things. So if you have a diagnosis, don't be scared. Know that there are alternatives for you. YouTube is an excellent resource. There's a lot of video on YouTube about how to heal naturally from cancer. The, the chemo brain that people go through when they go through chemotherapy, they, they lose memory, they lose cognition, they lose focus. Children that are going through that, I've watched videos of children that have, gone, have, have survived cancer through chemotherapy, and they're like, I can't do my homework anymore, I can't think, I can't focus. Natural remedies do not have these kind of side effects, and they work, and they work a lot more than um, than the allopathic treatments that kill people two-thirds of the time. So we need to wake up as a culture. We need to look at this. We need to not buy into it and not be a part of it and, and recognize our body's innate ability to heal itself, give back our power. Your body is the most amazing technology that exists, the most amazing. Your body has the power to heal itself. And I encourage you to welcome that, to embrace that knowledge. 
Okay, so until we meet again, don't forget to eat and drink your greens. Get those phytonutrients. I'm here for you. If you have any questions or want to interact with me, you can find me at blythenaturalliving.com. Au revoir. Please subscribe to our channel. And for more information about our home study course, Culinary Healing, Five Minute Recipes for Health, Happiness, and Beauty, visit blythenaturalliving.com.